All right, hello everybody. Welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm finally gonna do my library tour. And Demon wants to say hello. And so does Eva. Hello. So uh, I decided to start downstairs, which is different than where I usually film because I have my to be read or reread section down here. The things that I would like to read in the near future. So whenever it's my reading time, I generally grab one from this shelf. Uh, I reorganized it recently to be in line with my priorities because it was just random occult things and that wasn't where they belong. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it on the actual uh, books. So here what I've got to read is a bunch of uh well religious studies and similar so i've got um some tantra books or tantra rel related books so tantra illuminated this kali uh kind of no not really anyway uh agora definitely and then i have some sutras the yoga sutra brahma sutra uh another tantra book some other Eastern religious studies, mostly. And then I have the Poetic Edda. And uh, this is a, well, fiction book. And then I have Simulacra and Simulation, which I kind of consider uh, religious, but not really. And then I've got some random stuff, kind of. So this is just stuff that didn't fit other places, but I do want to read. These are still from how this bookshelf was organized earlier. These three kind of belong in this section here, but we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, yeah, I've got some some magical studies, um, some kind of psychology and how people think the universe works. Uh, Hindu myths. I actually, I want to go through this, but I'm not sure if I should read it during, before, or after my uh, Hindu studies currently, because I'm going through the Purana, and right now, uh, this should be a version of the Ramayana, and I'm going through another copy, which is on the desk upstairs. So this, uh, I liked this author, Sapiens. I would highly recommend. So I, I'm reading, I'm kind of in the middle of homo deus right now and uh didn't finish that because i changed things i was reading in the middle of it and then manufacturing consent all this kind of stuff is kind of about psychology sociology similar things about how the mind works about how uh society works etc and just kind of how people end up in the mindsets that they're in in relation to their position in society. Uh, this one I'm not entirely certain, but it seemed like an interesting title, so I bought it and threw it on the shelf, because uh, that seems like an interesting thing to read. And then I have two f uh, Freemasonic books written by Manly P. Hall that I thought were going to be interesting. Uh, Secret Teaching of All Ages I've mentioned previously, and... Uh, I'll get through that shortly, along with the Three Dangerous Magi. Uh, then I have, this should be, well, so this is fiction, should be all fiction here, yeah. And so I just, I wanted to get some fiction reading done, but I haven't gotten to it yet, because I'm pretty enthralled with what I'm reading now. So I have some more kind of fiction-ish stuff. No, I mean, this is, this isn't exactly fiction, but, uh, this is fiction. And then another magical studies, which should be on this shelf, but it fits here. Uh, some more magical studies. These three, I'm not entirely certain about. They seemed interesting when I picked them up. They've been on the shelf for a while. I hadn't gotten around to them. Uh, this one, the author was writing about Jin in the previous book. Uh, the Book of Smokeless Fire 1, and so I picked up two more books by him because I thought his point of view was interesting. 
And then I have The Miracle of Love by compiled by Ram Das. I liked his some of his other things that I've seen by him and one of the books that I, I read by him. So I grabbed this. Oneness looked interesting. And uh, Egregories was something that was recommended by the Foolish Fish peop uh, Discord. And then I have Ion, which I've been wanting to get through for a while, but I haven't found the time. And then this is kind of similar to these, the sociology books. I believe uh, Super Strings should be, well, about string theory. And then uh, the Cosmic Conspiracy should be kind of similar to, well, the same vein as the rest of the stuff in this area. So, that said, I'm going to go up to the actual library. Forgive the dog for... Can't always be 100% clean. So, I want to start from the bookcase and move this way. So, first, I've mentioned this before. This is kind of... Well, I think I reorganized this a bit. But... Uh, so this section is kind of occult and esoteric nicer books. So I have Crowley here, his whole little section, uh, things about Crowley or by Crowley. And then, uh, Memento Mori, which is a new book, uh, from Miskatonic books. The Dolmen Arch should be a Druidic book. This is a fiction book by... John Michael Greer, The Natural Magic, uh, The Library of Esoterica. Let me actually pull this out because their covers are really nice for a, uh, for just a like $40 hardcover. And it's largely just images. So if you want a bunch of images and stuff like that, uh, referencing astrology with some some brief information about it. These are nice books to have. They're beautiful. Uh, Mistai. It's this kind of weird form factor. And like this. It's kind of a uh, coffee table book. And then I've got the Encyclopedias of Freemasonry. This is kind of my Freemason section, this section of the shelf. When I finish reading the other Freemason books, they'll end up here as well. And then I have this I have two copies of, but this is supposed to be a uh, Shamanic book, well, you could tell from the title. Awakening in the Dream. I actually have the uh, audiobook for this as well. And then this is just kind of Lucifer Precepts, a uh, book about Lucifer, the, the mysteries surrounding the origin of and other things related to Lucifer, Devil's Noctuary. This is kind of like witchcraft-ish stuff here. And then The Way of Hermes. I haven't haven't opened this, it's still in plastic, and I don't plan to anytime soon. Uh, Golden Dawn, Holy Diamond, Arbitel, uh, Sufarnio is kind of a compilation of other grimoires. The This is a newer book, I haven't gotten into it yet, Quipoth. The Arcanium is a book of kind of occult-ish photography. Here, actually. Um see here what do we got yeah so it's got like photography some kind of um, poetry etc so it's a it's more of an art book than anything which I appreciate and then pillars it's a annual or semi-annual publication by anathema publishing and then we have my reference books. So I've got the Golden Dawn, uh, the occult philosophy, the three books of occult philosophy, 
uh, literal encyclopedia, <laughs> the book of Abram Mellon, all these kind of things. So these are like grimoires. This is the history of magic. And then we have other grimoires. And this book, I honestly would not recommend. The first like chapter is on the uses of salt and the history of salt. Uh, not really a big fan. It, it's pretty dry. Which is why it's in the corner. Uh, this is kind of the controversial section. So uh, this is things that are either controversial or I honestly don't want to read. Like uh, the tantric physics. I put it here as a sign of disrespect. <laughs> Not really. Um, I just wasn't fond of that book. So I threw it in the conspiracy and controversial section. So this is... These are about serial killers, basically, except for Hog. Hog's not. Uh, but I think everything else, yeah, everything else from the family over that's not Hog is uh, about serial killers. And then we've got a bunch of basically uh, right-leaning political authors, in a way. Um don't know how else to describe that section, but that's, it is what it is. And then here in the middle section, we have my nicer religious and similar books. So we have the Hermetic Museum for Hermeticism, the Prophecies of Nostradamus, I believe is how you pronounce it, the Nag Hammadi scriptures, which finally got here after like a year of waiting. Uh, the Eddas, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Egyptian Book of the Dead. These are all nice. I believe I did uh, unboxings for all of them. Uh, the Notebooks of Da Vinci, which I actually liked. So let me, I'll pull out. Can I pull this out? I have the, the glass on my head right now so that this doesn't close. Can I? No, I'll, I'll pull that out in a minute. Uh, and then I have Jung's works, so the Red Book, uh, the Reader's Edition, Man and His Symbols, and the Black Books. Let's see. Can I grab one? You know what? This is out already. So, Norse Myths, it's got this, uh, it's an Eastern Press book, so it's got the kind of the same design, this kind of thicker, hard leather, and then the the gold gilded edges. And uh, this one, I believe, is just a uh, reprint of a book block from another publisher, just in leather. But I have not confirmed that. I'd have to look it up. If you look up the title and author, you can find a lot of that with Eastern Press. This is the antiquarian section. This actually works. So for this section, mm, it smells like, it smells like nice old books. So this section is mostly occult books with the exception of underground. I think that has some kind of occult things in it somewhere but it, it's like 800 something pages and I haven't made it through it and then I'll I'll do a more in-depth review of these at a later date just uh, this is kind of hard to to go through I need to take some care and prepare that but like this one it, you can see the spines kind of falling apart same for this uh, this is an older Freemason book Actually, I think I can pull this one out without hurting it, but I have to be careful with this one. All right, so this is the Ramayana that I'm going through. Hi. So this is a, like a lodge manual. Super careful with this one. It 
The Mystic Circle and American Handbook of Masonry. So yeah, I'll go through more of the antiquarian books later. I'm going to leave this here so I don't damage it trying to put it back and go to the next section. So this, I reorganized my nicer, you can see Gurum in the reflection, my nicer um, occult books here. And so I've got the uh, Whispering from the Void. And then these are all, so this is, well, a section about returning to the void. Or this, this book is about returning to the void. So these books are all uh, Kabbalistic in nature. So from the Jewish Kabbalah, all written by David Chaim Smith, I believe it's pronounced. And then I have these two, which are uh, nicer Tantra books published by, I have no idea, I'd have to look it up. I believe it's Fall of Man. This is one of, I, I really like this book here. Uh, just for the information, it was it's not formatted that well, but I did like the information. So this is from Fall of Man. So yeah, the formatting's kind of blocky, but it's okay. But I did like the information here. Even if it is a little over my head for when I had read it. Or was, I suppose. I'll have to reread it and find out. And then Underworld about different underworlds and the implications of them. An excellent book on the art of magic. And then I have some more uh, Judaic mysticism here. Some and so this is all basically occult stuff. The Abyss, uh, I'll talk about that in, later. Somebody asked me a question about this. The Goethe Grimoire, it's fairly small. It's like under 100 pages, I believe. It's not a large grimoire, but grimoires usually aren't. This book I was actually really fond of. Let me see if I can pull it out. These two right here were really nice. This section is pretty tightly put in here. But this kind of, I like how this feels and looks. Gospel of the Witches. I got this in. I didn't do an unboxing or anything for it. But I really did appreciate how this book looks and feels. I haven't gone through it yet. But the formatting seems nice. It's, it's a pretty well put together book. I'm happy that I got this. This is from, uh, who did this? Troy Books. Same with this. This is a black edition of Walking the Tides, I believe. I don't know if you can see that. And so it, it's got a nice design so by Troy books oh that's kind of cool I had a, an idea to get to make a uh, I believe it's called an arbory where I wanted different blossoming trees in basically a circle to represent the year of oh, the limited edition stamp and uh, so there would be constantly a section of trees blooming. I thought that was a, an interesting idea for a home. Well, you'd have to have larger than a home, but still. Anyway, I liked this book. This was rather nice for the design, etc. I did I appreciate this as well. And... I'll put those up in a minute as well. Hi, Guru. Pit, pit, pit. And then we've got more kind of witchcraft books here. 
these should all be witchcraft. This is similar. This is, uh, sorry, ferocious is tantra. The dancing sorcerer should be witchcraft. Kurakula is kind of uh, tantric, I suppose. I can explain that later if anyone has questions. It's a Vedic concept. And then we have the Red Goddess, which is a Christian book. Well, kind of, it, it's Christian-based book. And then we have Black Abbot White Magic. That's a fairly nice addition, actually. Let me see. This will be the last one I grabbed from this section. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice addition. again a Christian based book or appears to be and then I have the nicer books that I didn't want on the higher shelves I've got all my my Luciferian collection here does this focus apparently not um, history books here so on war the Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, Common Sense, Resistance to Civil Government and Other Writings, SPQR, A History of the Indians of the United States, then all the Luciferian books, and then Alchemy and Mystery, and Slan is a fiction book, but it's the only fiction book I have a nice copy of, so it's down here too. My other copy of the Notebooks of Leonardo da Vinci, and finally the Letters of Vincent van Gogh. Uh, this section is what I was waiting on. So I've got uh, different religious texts here, similar religious based texts. One sec. And then, so these are some Hindu books. Uh, this is actually kind of cool. You can put these together, the penguin books, and whenever you put them together, they form a picture. The same with the Bhagavata Purana. So, let's see. Can you... I thought that was an interesting touch. These I just got in today. I've been waiting on them for a while. So I was excited for that. Uh, Kali the Feminine Force, I felt compelled to buy a while ago. I don't know why. Um, it was it was decent for what it is. A small kind of picture book with some information in it. An Open Heart by the Dalai Lama. He's got a, he has a lot of uh, books out there. The Dance of Shiva is not what I expected it to be. It is a book about art theory in India, which I probably should have read the reviews. I was just looking for things by uh, this author, Anita Kumashwami. Like, this elements of Buddhist iconography is probably what I should have gotten, but I saw Shiva written by this author, and I was like, hey, that sounds great, and I just hit buy. So, my bad. These are good. I do like how uh, this author writes. Uh, I was rather fond of this. I got about 50, 70 pages in before I realized how much I had read. And yeah, I was, I was pleased with it. Uh, I have some mythology. So these are, these are all these are mass produced and then these are limited run for the most part from here to here anyway so the mythology book yes i know i'm not supposed to do that but i'm okay with it so i thought this was interesting i'm fond of mythology religious things etc so I pick these up when I see one that looks interesting and has decent reviews. Hello, Aoife. Yeah. Ooh. 
Ooh. This is why you shouldn't do this one-handed. Uh, then we have, so this is mostly kind of, well, this is all Western-ish stuff. So this is mostly, this should be Norse, Roman, stuff like that. Uh, basically polytheistic religions. Uh, the Wanderers have them all. Different mythology books. And then in the corner, the Iliad and the Odyssey. And then here I have some... Hello, excuse me, I'm trying to film. Hello to you too, excuse me. Please move. Excuse me. All right. And then I have, she's so excited. Uh, I have some Irish mythology, Celtic mythology, stuff like that down here. And then a history of witchcraft. I have the whole series down here. She really wants some pets. There you go. All right. Excuse me, Aoife. So here I added a new shelf. And this is my fiction section with the little Jindo bookend. And then this should be all occult books that didn't belong over there because they're mostly paperbacks. So I've got these books that were up here in this section, but I move them so that they fit in a section along with their kin. So this is supposed to be, stop, it's supposed to be books about the, the influence of the moon here, these two, and then uh, a book by Crowley. This is some different like Norse related books and then more witchcraft. This is technically Norse related, I believe, so I should move it over here, but I'll do that later. And then other occult things here. Um, this, I don't know if you can see this, Magic Noir. And then I have a couple of copies of this, the Sefer Yitzara. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Anyway, the doctrine of the doctrine and ritual of high magic. That is something I saw referenced in many other books. I haven't gone through it yet. And then some more books about Crowley, the Tree of Life, and the Eye and the Triangle. And then Crowley's book four. I have another copy. Well, a. I don't know, I don't believe it's the same book. This is book four, parts one through four. I don't know what the difference is. I haven't read any of the Crowley books because I read, well, I read the two small ones and I was like, what? I just got kind of irritated with his writing style. So I was told to review a different book that I own, the uh, Gems from the Equinox. So I'll go through that. Behold a pal Pale Horse. This was something that someone in a U.S. bookstore found for me for my birthday last year. On Resistance to Evil by Force. Apparently that piqued some people's curiosity. Uh, <laughs> I'll figure out what that's about. Um, forbidden Religion. I believe all three of... All three, maybe four of these were from that same person in the bookstore in the U.S. Infernal Legends... Um, I think I've been through that, but to be honest, it wasn't that memorable. And then I have more fiction books here, just books small enough to fit on this very small shelf. And, um, just kind of, well, this isn't fiction, but that, that's not important. So, or it's not important that it's not fiction. So, yeah, I mean, I technically, this isn't either, not the point here. But these are just books that are small enough to fit in this space. And, uh, yeah, I'm fond of Orwell. Uh, 
I have a couple different versions of some Lovecraft works. Freakonomics, my brother recommended. I haven't gotten into it yet. I accidentally picked up two copies because there's used bookstores here. And uh, I didn't notice that I already had a copy when I bought the other one. And then here is all of the nicer, smaller form factor books from Black Letter Press and Ouroboros Press. Uh, mostly these should be, well, demonology. I would not recommend unless you want to know the history of the Inquisitors <coughs> that were prosecuting witches. The rest of these, uh, Zoroaster's Telescope is an interesting way to look at, uh, what would you call it? Oracle work, but, uh, it's not going to be for everyone. And then, this is a grimoire, this is a grimoire, this is a grimoire, uh, kind of a grimoire, and this, these two aren't. Anyway, but Yeats was a famous poet who also was into the occult, so I picked up this to kind of tie them together. The Cloud of Unknowing has a uh, preface, I believe, by the f the guy who owns the foolish fish channel on here on youtube so i picked up that work to see what his writing style was like and uh well black letter press is fairly decent quality so i grabbed that uh the Cabalion, a in my opinion fairly overhyped book uh, if you want to know what the Cabalion talks about it's basically you can make things happen if you believe hard enough and put effort towards it, which should be fairly self-explanatory, but whatever. Uh, we got the Kabbalah from Barnes & Noble. This is an interesting book. I think I, I put a review out on it already. This direction, it's one book about a folk magic herbal. And this is a folk medicine herbal. So midway through the book, it flips upside down, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, On Tyranny, would recommend. Uh, there's, there's very few books about... Uh, what would you say? Po political things that I would recommend. This is one of them. Just, I don't know, I, I like the psychology behind political things, not so much the politics themselves. But that's just me. Well, maybe others, but still. <clears throat> anyway, so I've got Agora 1 and 2. I would recommend. I definitely had fun reading those. Uh, general History of the Pirates, because my family has this rumor going that we have a pirate as an ancestor, so I thought it was interesting to look into the history of pirates. The Box Saga is also supposed to be a history, it's a history of the Norse people. This I haven't opened, the Monk of Moksha, it's a story about, well, a guy who, an, an American guy who ends up going into an area during war and kind of oh it he kind of allegedly he it's it's his experience during this war that was going on uh the emperor kind of a similar not well not really um yeah so you can you can read their information on this one it's more of a story of uh, kind of a, a, I believe, a journalist trying to talk about the uh, emperor of Ethiopia. And then human technology. It's kind of similar to the books downstairs, I believe, in nature, in understanding how like humans and psychology works. Uh, but this one in particular. 
Uh, I don't know, it comes at it from a slightly different angle. Most of these books are fairly similar in nature, though. Uh, the ones that talk about like human technology or human psychology in relation to like sociology and societal norms. So these are books that I should read, <laughs> learning Korean. Uh, easy talk in Korean as well. And I got some eggshells that have just kind of been sitting here. Uh, Principles of Organizational Behavior. This, I believe, is a college textbook. The Madman's Library and A Thousand Books to Read Before You Die, which are, well, books on books. And then, pay no mind to this. <laughs> then I have, I like these wooden books, just kind of the subject matter that they cover. I actually ordered another one about uh, this, about writing. I think they're fairly interesting perspectives and they have interesting information in them. So I'm a fan. And then we have all my tarot decks, which are not books, but they're in the library. Uh, the black, the true black tarot is absolutely stunning. would recommend. Uh, other than that, people ask me for night sun readings sometimes. Uh, occultists ask for the hermetic tarot sometimes. This is my favorite deck, the golden tarot. I just think it's nice. Decent backs. Gold edges, nice colorful uh, designs, tells a story that I can work with, so I appreciate these. It has a nice guidebook as well if you're new to tarot, and each deck kind of tells their own story for what the cards mean, occasionally differing from each other, so knowing what this artist or author believes the cards to mean is also important for your interpretation. Then I've got this section. So these are self-help books more or less. And uh, again, similar things of psychology or sociology. Uh, same here and into upside down thinking. And then most of this section should be kind of, well, Enlightenment now is kind of science mixed with sociology, I believe. And then a bunch of scientific things. So uh, the fabric of the cosmos, the ascent of man, well, maybe astrophysics for people in a hurry by deGrasse Tyson, which is a title that you would expect Neil deGrasse Tyson to have. So well done on his part. The Selfish Gene by Dawkins, a couple of Carl Sagan books. Uh, brief answers to the big questions. I thought that was an interesting title by Stephen Hawking. Haven't gotten into it yet. And then these are books that I've read and I found valuable. Uh, Metamorphosis because it was a gift. I believe Weaving Fate is good for other people. I didn't find much value in it because I kind of agreed with much of what it said. It's similar to the Kabbalion where it basically says hey, if you believe in something and you put enough effort into it, then it will happen. So uh, this one just also includes a guide on how to make a journal, basically stating, you know, this is what's going to happen in the future. And you're kind of projecting what you believe will occur. You're, you're writing like a future journal, which I thought was an interesting concept. We have uh, Tantric Kali, which it's not the best quality work. But I did like their, uh, how would I put this? I liked their rituals and stuff. I, I thought it was an interesting way to visualize things. So I included that. Project Rune, it's kind of controversial for the way the author bring, like discusses the information, but the... The runes themselves and the majority of the information is good information. 
So I include it here because it's a quick reference for runic things. And I have runes somewhere that I cast. I think they're behind me. Uh, the Tibetan Book of the Dead, allow me to introduce. So allow me to introduce, I honestly wouldn't recommend unless you are trying to figure out what books by Lon Milo Duquette. It's not an actual introduction into occultism. It is an it's literal intros from other books that Lon Milo Duquette wrote. So the if you're interested in finding more about occultism, this is a decent book. Uh, just to see which books you're interested in getting from their introductions. Uh, the Chicken Kabbalah, Son of the Kabbalah, I would recommend if you're new to Kabbalah studies. It's kind of one of the uh, highest recommended in occult circles from what I've seen for Kabbalah studies. It's well done. He has a nice jovial attitude. It's it's an interesting read for sure. Uh, then we have the, the Dhammapanda. I believe I have another copy up there. But this is a nice short and sweet one. And then Empty and Marvelous is a Korean book, I believe, written by a, yeah, Korean Buddhism selected. So this I got at a temple here. And it has different poems and writings from a Buddhist monk here in Korea. So I liked that. It's hard to find English translations of Korean Buddhist texts. So, well, at least it is for me. So I liked that. Uh, Be Here Now, highly recommend. It's kind of a an abnormal read if you look it up. Well, actually here, this is what it looks like. It's got its pictures and stuff. So it's it's an interesting read. It's an experience. I would recommend it if this is kind of the kind of stuff that you're interested in. Uh, I'll put that back later, which seems to be my headline for today. And then I have, these are all kind of badly printed, like print to, print to order. Um, what are they called? Uh, grimoires. These are print-to-order grimoires from Amazon. Uh, I was not too impressed with them because I didn't pay attention to the page count when I got them, but it's okay. The Book of the Law. Uh, <laughs> I'd recommend reading other things by Crowley first because this turned me off of Crowley because it was uh, absolute nonsense to me when I read it. So I'm going to go through other things. Uh, this is other... Well, this is another grimoire. Then I have some Alan Watts books, which I haven't read. I like Alan Watts and the way he talks, but I need to actually go through these. And then these are gifts from other people. So I need to go through them, but they were gifts and I haven't found the time to read them. I should, because I take gifts seriously, especially... Well, I, I take any gift seriously, so. Uh, thank you to my cable toe for the Sean Hannity book and my mother for the James Patterson book. So, and then I have these, which are kind of political commentaries. Well, not really. They're, they're about po political things. So the Federalist Papers, which is something that I guess anybody who takes American political history seriously goes through. And then here I've got, well, this is all the alien conspiracies and such. This is the alien-ish section. Underground bases on the moon. Uh... <laughs> This is the same thing, basically, underground bases and tunnels on the moon. And this is ESP type things. Everybody's Guide to ESP. And then Factfulness is hidden here, which is, again, one of those 
learn how to control your thoughts and not be affected by others type books, which I am fond of, but they're all similar in nature. And then these are all my certification books, mostly uh, this is the red team and blue team book, field manuals, um, coding, I haven't gone through this uh, machine lear hands, hands on learning, machine learning, the two different CEH books, uh, elementary Korean is here just because, well, it's a learning book, so I, I thought that qualified. But yeah, these are all kind of learning books. And then here's the philosophy section. I need to get to this. Somebody told me to read through it. And uh, so I ordered it. I haven't been through it yet. Actually, no, I won't take this downstairs yet, but I will get to it. So yeah, this is all the philosophy things, uh, what we owe to each other. I think this is a very important question to ask. Not entirely certain that, because I haven't finished it, I'm not entirely certain the author will answer my question. Uh, both what do we owe each other in a positive and negative way. As in, do you owe other people suffering in order to help them grow? Do you, because if you uh, pamper somebody, coddle somebody too much, they can't survive on their own without you. So do you owe people a certain degree of suffering is also one of the questions that I would like answered, uh, at least from someone else's perspective. What about you, Guru? What do you think? Good talk. Hi, Eva. And then these are the last books that I have here. We've got the books that I don't really want. Uh, this is basically the Kabbalion. This <laughs> this is uh, stuff that was in the controversial section, and I just decided. I'm not really that interested because I got so many other books to go through. Uh, Wicca, not too terribly interested. The Charms and Spells, maybe. This is a book by uh, a musician that some of you may know. So I figured it would be interesting, interesting but uh, I'm not too terribly interested in it anymore. I literally got this one because it was called Trigger Warning, which uh, seemed controversial in itself, but I don't really care to read it at this moment. And then I got the autobiography, or sorry, biography? Biography. No, it says my own words. So the autobiography of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, a Kundalini Awakening book that has very little to do with actual Kundalini Awakening, uh, as at least in my opinion. Because my, uh, anyway, it, it just didn't seem to be too true to my experience. And then the game is kind of, uh, well, a controversial book. So I had that here, but I'm not entirely certain. I actually want to read it. Though I do know people who have. So that's about it for today. I just wanted to give you guys uh, an actual walkthrough of the library. Hopefully that was interesting to some of you, and I just want to say, whatever time it is, where you are, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Cheers.